Yeah, so like mentally, yeah. if Clint were to, let's just say, he gets kicked out, he's on the streets because what he did, of course, was wrong. Like, oh, yeah. There's no, no question about it. He should not have done that. I. I don't think anybody should try that. But you know, kids, teens do it all the time. Yeah, but it's like, oh, I didn't ever think he was gonna do that, but. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy, back with another Basil Banga. How y'all doing? Y'all know it's never easy in Joy's world, honey. I be trying to make lemonade out of all these lemons, okay? Well, I'm back in my car. <laughs> I don't know what day is today. I don't even know what day it is, child. So, I'm on my way to get Bobby. Sorry about the shades, it's sunny out here. Y'all know what I look like, I'm back to the big hair. I couldn't be bothered with that hat. It was too much gelling going on with the hat, honey. I had to let it go, let it go for a little while. That's what I had to do. <clears throat> so I just posted the video about Clinton and everyone, you know, have their opinions and stuff and I appreciate them. Some people gave me the business, honey, and I appreciate that too, you know, because I respect all your people, and all of them were respectful and polite and kind and come from a place of of love and caring. Um, I'm not making excuses for Clinton. He's wrong, so I had to set up a meeting with the pastor. The pastor called me. He sounded really sad. He had to deal with the death. He was at a hospital. I think one of his members passed away. But he did remember me. So I was really happy about that. And um, so he was like, but, but, but is he open to talking with me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I said, I just finished yelling and yeah, he's he's gonna talk to you. <laughs> will or not. Willing or not. That's what he's gonna do. That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> and I think some of the overwhelming comments were kick him out, kick him out. My heart won't do that. It it just won't. We live in a white, predominantly white suburbs. There's no public transportation. There's nothing. So my heart won't allow me to just put him on the street. Let me take these off. So my heart won't allow me just to put him on the street. And somebody made a very good analogy. A very good analogy. They said, um, would you allow a man to lay on your couch? No, I would not allow a 30, 40, 50 year old man to lay on my couch and do nothing. No, I would not. But this is not my man. This is a child. And I think, although Clint's 18, Clinton, in my spirit, in my soul, I've known this for most of his life. I think he, I think he's developmentally delayed. So you still, so it's, I'm still dealing with a child. And even when he was in high school, I asked his counselor, I was like, you know, is there some other testing? She was like, Joy, he's fine. He's just very, very immature. So although Clinton is 18. I'm thinking realistically he's probably 14 or 15 years old mentally. I'm not a doctor, but a mom knows her child. So it's not as easy for me to just kick him out. <laughs> My heart won't do that. And I know he's he's young. I know what he did with the car was very, very wrong. And he's not the first child who has done that. You know, I've known other kids to do that. Very, very young. Um. So he's not the, 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 and I don't spank. So I probably have spoiled the rod. I probably have been an enabler. Well, I have been an enabler, but I just know there's something different about Clinton. It really is. So I know you say, kick him out, kid. I want to, <laughs> Lord knows I want to y'all, but my heart as his mother, it won't allow me to do that. It, it just won't so just let that one go I, I can't I even thought about I swear I thought about taking him to the homeless shelter downtown and say you know you, I tried the tough I really did but I was like they would rape that boy pretty little boy he'd be like a fish right out of water so it's like I'll be setting him up to be molested that's my thoughts because he he, he, here he's still young he's still young and I'm probably to blame for that 
okay so i'm not making excuses so stop saying throw them out <laughs> my heart won't allow allow me to do that okay i can't uh, one of my friends <laughs> kicked her son out and my heart just broke and I even took him in is my close friend and I even took her son in just for a day or two <laughs> and she got mad with me but I was like my heart wouldn't do it I couldn't you know because he was like my son too I, I just couldn't do it and so I, I can't do that to, to Clinton so and it's like Clinton is defiant, but it's like he won't curse me out. He won't use profanity. You know, he'll get his moody little attitudes like a two-year-old, literally like a two-year-old, but not like, oh, at that, you know, I'm leaving it. He, he doesn't do that. So it's, it's different. It's, 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 I don't know. I may be sounding dumb and making excuses for myself but every mom knows her child so I can't kick him out I, I did my, my heart won't do that you know y'all know how my heart is for children at school I do have a heart for my own kids that I've birthed if I could give all this love to the, to to complete strangers and open my heart to these defiant kids that I choose to work with and try to rehabilitate what do you what do you think I'm gonna do with my own child you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm probably the sucker mom. You're right. I'm probably weak. You're right. But am I tired? Yes. And sometimes when you deal with so many situations, I mean so many, you start to lose that fight. And that roughness, toughness, it's just like... It's whatever. And honestly, I think that's what happened when I was born. My brother and my sister put my mother through hell. You talking about hell? They put her through hell. And then here I go, Joy was born. And I think she was tired by the time I came around. I would come home at 4 or 5 in the morning. I was a dancer. I've danced, you know, all my life, my teenage life. I just, I just love dancing. I still love to dance. I was, Bobby and I had a dance party in her room while we was doing hair. And um, I just love to dance. And that was my passion. So in New York, you know, we were going to the club. She knew I was, my passion was dancing. She never got upset. She knew that's what I was doing coming home four or five in the morning new york clubs closed late anyway and so she had no fight but, but i wasn't defiant either but you know 16 year old yeah i was i was clubbing for woof forever you know you have a six year old she's like okay so like for her it was like whatever <laughs> so i think i'm at that part with clinton whatever I mean, honey i was just elated that my car wasn't gone gone girl you know what i'm saying so i get all of that i really do and, and i don't want this to be long and somebody else said i will look into job corps and it's like i can't make a move until he gets id he has to have an id <clears throat> and i'm not gonna put him on the street without an id <laughs> so and i tried during the break and that didn't work out so i'm gonna have to take another day off from work i win i don't know uh, probably i'm probably just gonna wait to christmas break because i'll get maybe but i'll start the process just like one of my other friends said i said i'm not doing that i'm not filling this up i'm gonna have to be the one to call the school get the diploma because she was like joy you're gonna have to do it i had to do it for my sons and you just gonna have to do it all right desiree you're right <laughs> um so i will get his diploma and i don't care if i have to beg borrow for gas money and we're gonna go to reese's reese's house and get his his um id i don't care if he lives 30 hours away we're gonna go pick up the id so i will make the commitment to that so we can move on to the next phase at this point guys someone said why does he have your ipad um he just kind of adopted the ipad and it was an extra was sitting around he, he just had the ipad that's why he had it and
and so now is in my possession and I'll be taking it to school and leaving it at school so um what else but it was the overwhelming thing that the biggest thing was that I should kick him out but like I said I'm I'm not perfect I don't do everything right and sometimes you don't know what you're gonna do until you're in that situation you don't know and I'm just tired I'm tired and when Clinton was about eight or nine or ten I don't remember I don't quite remember but I got so angry with Clinton I mean really angry and it caused me to have a headache and I don't get headaches and I thought I was gonna have a stroke and from that day I vowed never to allow never to allow my children or Clinton mostly Clinton to bring me to that level again because I have other children to live for and hey I want to hang out a little longer too you know so when I took the approach when he came home with the car I was not enraged. I think I was more relieved <laughs> that my thing wasn't me possessed, you know what I'm saying, or stolen. But I just stopped and listened to his buffoonery. That's what I did. And for me to yell and stuff, like I yelled a little bit today, because with the pastor, why do I have to go and whatever? That's a whole nother story. So I was yelling. And I got so angry and I started to get a headache. I, I can't do it, y'all. It's like, ew, I missed my turn. Oh, she said the regular spot. I'm going to pick up Bobby. So you see, I, I can't push myself over to that edge anymore. I cannot put my son out. I'm gonna say it again, I can't. So have your comments say something else. I, my heart won't allow that for my child. For a grown man, no, I, 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 I wouldn't allow that. No, and, you know, unless, unless that grown man do it someday. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm still going to find laughter and joy even in the midst of darkness. Always. <laughs> My joy is always going to shine through, honey. But anyway, back to the serious stuff. I forgot what I was saying. See, y'all got to keep me on track. <laughs> but, um... I forgot what I was saying, y'all. I would have to rewind the tape, and I'm not doing that. Look, the tape, <laughs> the SD card, and I'm not doing that. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. So, anyway, that's the update with him. Got to get his ID. I'm going to make it a commitment and a to-do list for me. Um, why doesn't he work? It's like you, you fuss about the same stuff over and over and over and over again. I just be hustling up out of that house in the morning and trying to get to work. And it just seems like I've been getting later and later. That 430 alarm clock's been kicking my butt. I be rushing out the house. I don't have time or the energy to fuss with Clinton. I'm just saying it's been easier just to get my stuff, shake my head, and leave. I would yell and I'll bark and it's nothing. It, nothing's happening and it doesn't help that we live in the suburbs you know, everybody drives everywhere and he doesn't have a car and I did talk to um, someone um, who was in the Navy for over 20 years I did talk to him about Clinton and he was like kick him out and then he asked how old Clinton was he was like well he's still kind of new and you say he's a younger he says now I kick my kids out he kicked his he says but I made sure they had somewhere to go um, he says I bought him and his uh, I bought him a car for two thousand dollars, and he says y'all sleep in your car. If I had that option, I would probably do that. You know, hey, you gotta sleep in your car. You can't sleep here. You could come, you know, to bathe and eat, but I, I don't have that. I don't have anything. It's like okay, get out. Where's he going? Where? I mean, to the sit at the tree down the trees, get him a tent. It's different. It's, I, I don't know. I just feel as though it's different in the city. I mean, in the suburbs. So, I don't know. I could be making excuses, whatever. But, once again, I'm not going to kick the boy out. So, I, the military. And it's like I can't make the move without the ID. So, let's see. Where's Bobby? So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. 
you know, it's probably my fault. I have probably have enabled him. You guys are all right. You guys are all right. I don't have, I don't have anything, you know, I'm not upset by any of the comments at all. I'm not upset. I appreciate all the comments. It allowed me, let me text Bobby and let her know I'm here. So it allows me to reflect on, you know, what I've done, but parenting, everybody parents differently. You know, um, I had a friend and I was, you know, would say things to her, but she had to do what was right for her and what was in her heart. So, you know, we all have to come to these things, um, you know, in our own terms, our own ways. Maybe we'll see them at different ways, at different points in our lives. We all have different background life experiences that mold and shape us into who we are, how we parent. My mom was very, very easy going with me. My mom was mad cool with me. She wasn't my friend. So, of course, I probably have, I do have summer you know how easy going she was with me and maybe I'm too easy going on my kids mm hmm cuz even Sydney hanging out with her church people I was like Sydney you're not 18 you're not 18 Sydney I know mom I know mom we're watching Christmas movies we're watching Christmas movies and, and we're making cookies mom <laughs> you know so <laughs> I don't know guys Say I'm a weak mother. Say I'm a terrible mother. That is all fine. I don't know. And, you know, being a domestic abuse survivor, I don't put my hands on my kids. So I have that background experience on me and me getting the, the major headaches if I get, if I exert too much anger and energy, I feel as though it's not worth it. And I'm on this path of just total peace and it, I'm trying to get there but it seems like life keeps kicking my butt then I'm dealing with life issues too and then have to deal with that I, I don't have the energy for it so it's so much so we have to say oh do this it, it's just so much it's so overwhelming and I'm still trying to maintain a peaceful balance within my spirit. That's what I'm saying. With, with certain things, I don't have anything to give. I don't have anything to give. You know, when people want so much of me, they don't realize that I'm also struggling inside too with my own issues. That I have nothing left to give. I, I, I can't give it to you. You're gonna have to get it from somewhere else. So with Clinton, I I'm just I'm at the point where I I'm ready. I want to throw in the towel. There's Bobby. There's our sweet Bobby. <laughs> oh Lord, now she started acting up, y'all. Y'all gotta come down here. Y'all just gonna have to come down here. Bobby starts. I y'all know I can't take no more. Y'all know I need I need y'all in my life. To keep me grounded. How did how did you just pass? Say hi, Bobby. How was practice? Hard. It was hard. Well, Bobby, I told you to get on that treadmill at home. All right, so we're almost home. So Bobby, I was I was telling Bobby that the overwhelming comments was to kick Clinton out, kick Clinton out. And you are absolutely right. You're right, and I, I have nothing to say about that. And somebody said, well, why is he allowed to stay at the house and not have a job? He doesn't have the ID. Because he did go to two places, they asked for ID. So, what are your thoughts with kicking Clinton out? I don't know. I just think that, like what I was saying earlier, everyone has, like, not saying everybody, but a lot of people have this fallback of family. But it's mm -hmm. like, in our scenario, we don't have, like, aunts, uncles, cousins, all this and that. So, it's it's just us. Clinton would have nowhere to go. And, like, realistically, as a parent, I wouldn't want to just, like, let my kid just live on the street. Like, 
where Clinton is at mentally, like, yeah. obviously, he's not a mature, mm -mm. he's almost 18, you know, by then, most people, not saying everybody, he but He is most, 18. No, he's not, he's... Clint is 18, Bobby, he'll be 19 in August. He's 18, I thought he was 7, <laughs> I'm turning 17. Right. He's 8, oh my, I can't even keep up anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm turning 17. You're turning 17. He's already 18. So, he's 18. Are you sure? Yeah. I think he's turning you, 18 this no. August. No, Clint's 18. No, he's not. He's 17. No. So that means Sydney's 15, you're 16, Clinton's 17. No, Clinton turns 18. Is always, for one month, it's consecutive, and then he turns. Clint's 18, dear. That's why I don't, when he stays out, I kind of have hands off. As soon as he turned 18, I do more hands off. So like when he's I hanging out with his 17. friends and stuff, I don't question it. But it wasn't until he was 18. I feel like you're a grown man. Right, so Clint's 18, but he's a young, as I was explaining earlier, he's a young 18. Yeah, so like mentally, yeah. if Clint were to, let's just say, he gets kicked out. He's on the streets because what he did, of course, was wrong. Like, oh, yeah. There's no, no question about it. He should not have done that. I I don't think anybody should try that. But, you know, kid, teens do it all the time. Yeah, but it's like, oh, I didn't ever think he was going to do that. But no, he, <laughs> where he's at mentally, he wouldn't know what to do. Like, that would literally be the end of the world. Because realistically he can't like he has friends but he can't stay on some his friend's couch for x amount of time because he wouldn't know what the next step like what to do next he wouldn't know like and i haven't thought about like i told him earlier i thought about sending him down to a, sh a homeless shelter but at homeless shelter they are hardcore criminals hardcore people who know how to survive on the street That'll be putting a toddler in a cage with wild animals. That's what that would be like. Could I consciously do that to my child? Put him in a line of danger like that? I know, you know, he's not, not the best kid in the world. But could I, with the right conscience, put my child in a den with a whole bunch of lions? I, I couldn't do it. I, I, how, how could I live with myself? It's like, why would I let a rapist babysit my my daughter? And I know they like their pre a child predator. Why would I? Why would I then have them babysit my girls? Does that make sense? Even if I'm so upset with them, you get what you get. I couldn't, with the right conscience, put my son in a shelter. I did think about it. Like you know, you what is that? scared straight i was like maybe for two days i said two days they would rip him to shreds in two days and possibly we babied him is it the end of the world do little babies grow up yes maybe it's just gonna take him a little time and maybe it's gonna take me a little more time maybe i've ruined him i don't know because we've all enabled clinton since a little boy bobby can you help him so we've all <laughs> had to help clinton so we've known that it's been something so you think we should kick him out bobby Mm -mm. Like, obviously, it's not ideal, this situation, but what else? What What is the other option? I, mean, I think at the end of the day, first, he needs to get his ID. Yes, like, the ID. First, yeah. that, that's what's really, like, hindering the whole situation. And then I, I, I said I would wait it out <clears throat> for the holiday to take him down. He's like, and then he was like, well, I'm tired. Oh, well. Get your tail up. Let's go. I was tired too. Go down the end. And this, I was like, it just can't win. So I was like, now, you know, I got to get all these other things in order to get the ID. So that's pushing, pushing things back a little more. So I'm like, oh, I have to take a day off from work. And if I take a day off, I'm like, we just had a week off. And then I go back to my, I need a day off from work. Yeah. You see how that just doesn't, ugh. I mean, you have you have another break. Well, we have December. Yeah, Christmas. December. So, so another three weeks. Maybe we'll have all the paperwork. If they have to mail stuff, I have to pay for stuff. So I have three weeks, and I'll have two weeks off from work. Then I'll have two weeks off. 
So we go back to school for three weeks and then two weeks off. So what else do you think, Bobby? Of course, we got to get the job, but I'm thinking maybe... I, I also thought about Job Corps. But we can't do nothing without the ID, and I've been trying to wait for this break. I do like that he cleans the kitchen. I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. There should be no question about that. Right, we and that's what... to clean no kitchen. And that's what I was yelling at him today. I said everything, I said after the stunt you pull, everything I, that comes out of your mouth should be yes ma'am before I even finish what I'm going to say. And I, I started yelling, my throat is still a little sore. I started yelling at, and then I felt the headache that coming right here. I said, I can't. See, I don't realize there's that other factor I have where I feel like that boy's going to make me have a stroke. So I try to be at a calm level. <laughs> I really do because it, it's too much stress with the str with the other life stressed on me and then him I can't I can't do it I can't do it guys and it's all been on me it's only me I cannot do it there's no other outlets I, I can't it's too much so sometimes when he say he's gone I'm like goodbye when Sydney tell me she's gone I'm like goodbye <laughs> Bobby you don't hang out there as much as the other two So, what are your f last final thoughts, Bobby? I think it may be easier for some people to say, like, oh, just kick him out. Because, like, I think... Or they, say, or they say that, you know, I'm a weak mother. But, like I said, I don't know. Like, maybe... Don't... Like, oh, I'm too easy. Which is possibly true, but, like, I'm bringing that life experience from my own mom she was very easy and i didn't give her i didn't give her any problems but my brother and sister did they put her through the woof they put her through a child mm -hmm. i mean i think tough love is you know sometimes it's necessary but like he's not gonna have anywhere to go for a long period of time so they like put him on the street he'll figure it out no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He, I know it. He would be back at this door every day. <laughs> every single day. He would sit on that porch. Like a little lost puppy. Mm. So you say I'm a too easy going mom? No, if I was a mom, I wouldn't kick my... Like, I'm talking, I, I, hey, how about on all three of you? I'm too easy on you guys. I need to be mean. But like, I feel like we don't mm -hmm. cause that much trouble that some other kid not saying like everybody, but like, I hear stories about like other kids be putting their parents through it all. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I feel like we don't, no. we don't really, no, we're not too crazy. Mm -mm. Like I it could be worse. Oh yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be way worse. I know one of my friends went through the ringer with her children, child. It's like even with Clint, you know, borrowing my car for a few minutes, I would take that over what this poor lady went through. It was terrible, terrible. And I'm not here to tell her business, but it was. I would take all of my problems and stuff than to endure. I don't know how she endured it. But I hung by his side through it all. <laughs> I was like, woo, 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 woo. Put your head here. Woo, woo, woo. We're going to get through it together. You're going to be okay. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and her children, I don't know about one, but one turned out to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. He just had to go through that phase. I would say both her kids. Oh, my battery's dying. So, I just wanted to um, just come back with a reply. And i not upset. I love all the comments. And it helps me. Joy, you need to toughen up in this area. Or that's just not going to happen in that area. So, I respect everybody's comments. And, you know, how much love and energy you put into writing on that stuff. I'm listening to it. I'm trying to process all of it. 
and um try to do his best for him the pastor we're gonna go he's gonna go talk to the pastor on friday and um you know i'll keep you updated child i'll keep you updated all right guys well bobby thanks for your input so give this video thumbs down child do whatever you want child um like comment share subscribe don't forget to hit your post notifications until next time later